This is a Chicago drum. This is a plywood made of mahogany and poplar, 14 by six and a half. So this is the second drum we're seeing from these guys, right? Yeah. Maybe this is their, yeah, this is their deeper, their six and a half offering. Yeah. Um, nice drum. I like the wood finish better on this one. Yeah. It's got kind of more of a burling or... So is this a, a maple drum with a veneer? No. No. What's a What do we got? Look at that deep walnut? snare bed there. I don't it's know if you guys can yeah, see this. Wow. Poplar. Mahogany poplar. Okay, wow. cool. That's a vintage construction. Yeah. There. Cool. Which is nice. This butt end snare piece there concerns me. It really comes yes. unnecessarily yeah. far from the drum. Yeah. Right. Um, and in transit, that could be. Yep. It's just a bullseye. Or if you're yeah. short like me and you don't have long legs, you might scratch yourself on it. <laughs> True story. Yeah, you know, I, I think there's always a balance between uh, having a drum that creates a vintage appeal and having a drum that, you know, will stand up in any kind of modern situation. I think there's, there's always a, uh, there's a balance there that we're all trying to achieve. There's so, probably a reason for it to come out at yeah. this bias here. It's, it's pretty... Maybe that might, since the snare beds are so deep, maybe you don't want it pulling straight up on it. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. You know, there's probably a reason. Probably. Good. I mean, it's striking me as a pretty sensitive drum. Yeah. I mean, this guy definitely knows how to build, mm -hmm. that's for sure.